dengan biaya yang tentunya uh, bisa sampai 10 hingga 20 kali lipat uh, mahalnya ya guys ya. Assalamualaikum dan selamat datang di Inta S7 Channel. Halo guys, apa kabar anda semua di sana? Tentunya aku sangat berharap semoga kita semua dalam keadaan baik-baik saja, dalam keadaan sehat selalu. Bukan hanya kita, bahkan seluruh keluarga kita dan semua orang yang kita sayangi juga orang yang ada di sekitar kita. Semoga semuanya dalam keadaan sehat-sehat saja. Dan semoga juga kita diberikan kemudahan dalam rezekinya, dalam kita mencari nafkah, dalam kita beraktivitas, bekerja setiap hari dimanapun kita berada. Amin. Guys, aku hari ini tidak memakai topi style baru aku guys. Ingin hmm, tampil beda hari ini dan bagaimana menurut kalian guys udah ganteng udah ganteng oke okay, tapi di sini aku akan membahas tentang uh, apa yang dirasakan oleh bule asing asal Amerika Serikat nah banyak sekali guys bule yang datang masuk ke Malaysia itu mendapatkan seluruh fasilitas yang diinginkannya apa saja infrastruktur penginapan wisata alam wisata perkotaan kebersihan dan juga medis oke di sini ceritanya adalah ada sa sa seorang ya salah seorang turis asal Amerika Serikat yang sudah di Malaysia saat ini namun tiba-tiba dia merasa sakit kepala yang sangat luar biasa menyerang ia pada saat itu. Dan tanpa berpikir panjang dia langsung uh, melakukan atau pemeriksaan kesehatan di salah satu uh, hospital yang ada di Malaysia. Dan apa yang ia terima hal yang mengagetkan bahwa ia katakan di sini tentang satu pelayanan ini guys, satu pelayanan pelayanan ini yang tidak mungkin ada di tempat lain. Wow, guys, ini adalah pengakuan jujurnya guys bahwa satu pengalaman yang tidak pernah akan dijumpai di tempat lain yaitu ada di hospital Malaysia. Aku nggak tahu apakah itu secara keseluruhan ya tentang uh, servis atau juga pelayanan yang diberikan oleh setiap rumah sakit di Malaysia ataukah hanya didapati oleh saat, uh, turis asing ini hanya di hospital yang ada di Malaysia itu, itu saja. Nanti kita lihat guys ya, satu hal apa itu yang membuat Uh, Malaysia itu terlihat beda daripada negara lain di dunia medisnya. Baik, sebelum kita ke videonya, langkah baiknya bagi Anda yang belum support, bagi Anda yang belum subscribe channel ini, silahkan dukung dulu dengan mengklik subscribe dan aktifkan notifikasi bell agar tidak ketinggalan update video terbaru dari channel ini. Dan langsung saja kita meresi videonya. Jom! Good morning everybody. Good morning everybody from Kuala Lumpur. Today we're here at the Bansan Hospital in Kuala Lumpur. And I'm doing a medical checkup today. So before this appointment, I do have to fast at least 10 hours before. And luckily, we don't wake up this early, so you know I'm not really hungry right now. First step is to sign it in. Now they have a really pretty waiting room here. I'm not gonna show it because there's people here. Um, but it looks very comfortable. This is the package that Yemi is getting. It's 480 ringgit or just over $100. How are you feeling? Um, well, being in the doctor's office is never exciting. Uh, some old nerves. I think I'm always nervous for the, uh, for the lab test. Ooh. <laughs> I can't stand needles. You didn't study for your test then? I know. That's my fault. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely feel that. It's been just about an hour, and it is time for the first test, which is going to be a blood and urine sample. Uh, hopefully not together. Uh, and then I think it's a consultation with a doctor next. Wow, ini guys pemeriksaannya ya. Oh, sebentar kita pause ya guys. Oh kita lihat ya bagaimana ruangannya yang terlihat uh, lebih melayani, lebih profesional dan juga terlihat modern guys. Bagaimana semua orang itu tidak suka dengan cara uh, dokter Malaysia memperlakukan pasien guys. Dengan fasilitas-fasilitas yang sudah tampak di depan mata. Sangat memuaskan. Oke kita lanjutkan lagi. 
uh, bagaimana pemeriksaan ini dan bagaimana hasil akhirnya nanti. Kita apply. About an hour when they first called me, I got most of my tests done and what's last is physical examination. Um, so I just went out pretty fast. Uh, I'm just running back and forth all the time because I leave one room and they're like, you are not. So I'm like, okay, I'm there. Uh, yeah, but pretty good experience so far. Yeah, it's actually kind of nice that this place doesn't really feel like a hospital. Yeah. Like there's definitely a little bit of that vibe, but they do a really nice job of decorating it. So I'm waiting for my last doctor check, and while we wait, they gave me a 20 ringgit voucher for any restaurant that's here in the hospital. So let's go blow some money. Down on the bottom floor, they kind of have this mall area. It has a bunch of restaurants, a couple Ooh. of health-related stores, and then of course over here they have our favorite. Down at the end of the hallway, there's a food court with a couple of different restaurants. That sounds like fun. The card was for a 20 ringgit credit and two pretzels, uh, original sticks, and a lemonade. All comes out to 19. Sebentar guys, sebentar kita pause. Nah, di sini dari situasinya kalau aku lihat ini tampak bukan seperti hospital. Bahwa aku lihat seperti mall guys, asli seperti mall. Okay, kita lanjutkan lagi. Like. <laughs> nice ambiance here. Ooh. I don't know what other hospital has Auntie Anne's on the first floor and has somebody playing the piano to get you relaxed before your appointment. Yeah, this is honestly an awesome hospital. Besides the voucher, oh. I'm also really impressed with the efficiency of this hospital. Um, we waited for an hour and then like when they called me we got all tests done and there was no waiting Until this last one, but that's not my fault. It's the other patients fault because yeah, they were delayed um, So they were really efficient and everything got done super fast in like three hours So yeah, I'm very very impressed and I know that if I was doing this back in Albuquerque like you know just signing in and then waiting to see when they call me, I know I'd be there all day. And I have been there all day, so yeah, I highly rate it. Plus you'd have to go to your normal doctor and get a bunch of referrals to a bunch of different specialists for all these different exams and tests and stuff, but here it's all like one big room, one big area, and they have a bunch of like different stations. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I always, I always forget that like you need to get referrals. And here, they, they, got, they got everything in the same building. The three main reasons that I'm not getting an examination today is that honestly I feel great since we started traveling uh, because back home I definitely felt my body off like we were eating an American diet and living a sedentary lifestyle and since we started traveling like we walk tons all the time without even trying and we eat very healthy without trying. Uh, I mean we definitely <laughs> have some unhealthy meals but I mean, on average we eat very well and I feel good. Uh, second is because I hate needles and I hate blood. Guaranteed I would pass out. And third, they don't even offer the blood test that I wanted. Um, <laughs> I want a full panel and they don't offer a full panel. Um, the cheapest one we found was like several hundred dollars um, and at a different hospital. So it wasn't really worth going through all that stress <laughs> for me. Um, but I'll definitely have to set something up in the future uh, just to kind of see where I'm at, where my baseline is. And the reason why I set up an appointment was because last week I was like out pretty much. I had the most like horrible headache where it really hurt to like even leave or move. Um, and I set up an appointment when I was in pain so I was like I just need to know what's going on. So hopefully everything is good. I think we have to wait for the results though. Uh, they said I need to set up an appointment and come back tomorrow. And I was honestly expecting to get them today. But Hey, you know, I've already got all the tests, so I might as well get the results. Yeah, it's just a little rough because tomorrow's our last day here. Um, and this is like a good 20 minutes away from our apartment. Um, so it's slightly inconvenient to get back here, but <laughs> to get the results, I, <laughs> I guess that's what we're doing. <laughs> I didn't go through all of this for nothing. <laughs> but after a nice little snack, it is time to head back and do one last test. Yay. And then we're done in a different part of the waiting room now and we just realized that the coffee machine is free. Of course we only realized that once all the coffees are sold out. Now that there's no people in that area I'll show you a little piece of the waiting area. 
It's super nice and it feels very comfortable. And these chairs are really Ruangan comfortable. Yeah, guys. The wow, the windows, it kind of feels like a really nice hotel lobby or something. It doesn't feel like you're in a hospital waiting room. It's empty back here as well. Uh, once it's about to be your turn, they pull you out from the lobby and bring you back here to like secondary waiting area. Um, still with very comfortable chairs, very comfortable like environment. Doesn't smell like a hospital, <laughs> which was a big concern. Um, and just like the decor just feels very soothing instead of the normal hospital vibe. So we just finished the doctor's visit and the doctor did recommend I take another test. Um, so I did that as well because you know, it's a lot cheaper to get it done here than it would be back in the States. So the grand total for today comes out to 729 ringgit, which is about 150 US dollars. Yeah, that's like not even a copay when you go see the doctor in the US. <laughs> yeah, and like there was a lot of work done on me, so I think it's very well worth the money. And plus, I haven't gone to the doctor in a really long time, so it's about time. That's gonna do it for today. We are both exhausted and we need to go catch up on our sleep because we only got like four and a half hours last night. Um, and we do have to come back for the results tomorrow, so we'll cut to then. And we're back. We're gonna go pick up the results and hope all goes well. And there's coffee today. Robot coffee. I got a mocha, which I haven't had in a very long time. Not bad at all. Well, any free, free coffee, you guys, yeah. I got hot chocolate. That's really good. Uh, you ate acid normal, your sugar was fine. Okay, alright. This is a test to check whether you have diabetes, so far it's normal, yeah? Mm -hmm. Your calcium looks normal. When did and got the results back? And everything is looking good, we're healthy, normal, and they also gave you packets with like everything detailed, so we got that for future doctor appointments, and then I just have the doctor, she explained to me everything that was in this packet. So we're going to go celebrate these positive results here on our last day in Kuala Lumpur. So if you want to see what we do, make sure you stay tuned for our next video. See you tomorrow. Bye! Oke okay, dan guys, baru saja kita melihat bagaimana video tentang orang Amerika yang berobat di Malaysia memang sangat bahagia guys. Sangat bahagia mengapa? Jika kita sedang berada di negara yang medisnya itu sangat modern, yaitu seperti negara Malaysia. Kita tiba di sana, tiba-tiba kita sedang uh, sakit ya. Maka kita akan ditangani dengan cara yang efisien, yang efektif, dengan sangat mudah dilayani dengan baik guys. Karena memang keunggulan dari negara Malaysia salah satunya adalah ini, dunia medisnya. Dan lagi-lagi kita merasakan tentang keheranan dari, uh, oke okay, kita anggap standar pelayanan yang ada di hospital Amerika dan juga Malaysia itu sama. Namun tetap saja ada yang berbeda, yaitu dari harga. Nah, di sini dia berkata bahwa untuk menangani kasus seperti ini ya atau dia berobat seperti ini uh, hanya mengeluarkan uang 150 uh, US dollar atau itu berkisar 23 ringgit ya guys ya seperti itulah. Jadi di sini terasa sangat berbeda apabila berobat di Amerika dengan biaya yang tentunya uh, bisa sampai 10 hingga 20 kali lipat uh, mahal Nah di sini ada sesuatu hal yang berbeda lagi dia katakan tentang uh, rumah sakit yang ada di, Ma di, Malaysia, di Malaysia atau hospital yang ada di Malaysia itu sangat berbeda dari segi apa guys dari segi pelayanannya ada orang pemain uh, piano di hospital itu jadi membuat suasana itu sangat menenangkan bagi si pasien bagi keluarga yang menunggu itu tentu mendapatkan musik-musik yang bisa menenangkan hati dan jiwa guys uh, di balik rasa kepanikan dari keluarga dan juga si pasien ada mendengarkan suara musik yang begitu sangat uh, menenangkan jadi uh, tidak terasa beban pikiran guys dan selanjutnya lagi yaitu adalah uh, adalah uh, seperti servis servis tentang uh, sarapan free nah ini di mana guys kalau bukan di Malaysia dan mungkin di tempat-tempat lain aku juga jarang mendengar ya apalagi di Singapura apakah seperti ini juga tentang sarapan free luar biasa guys kita lihat juga ruangan tunggunya itu Memang begitu sangat uh, memanjakan, menyaman, uh, memberikan rasa nyaman kepada pasien dan juga pihak keluarga. Apabila ini terus ditingkatkan oleh uh, medis yang ada di Malaysia, tentunya ini uh, dapat menjadi daya tarik yang lebih ampuh 
untuk meningkatkan kualitas uh, wisata medis yang ada di negara itu guys. Hmm. Oke, okay, demikian dari video ini. Semoga video ini bermanfaat bagi kita semua. Dan ini adalah video yang sangat bermanfaat ber, uh, dan edukatif menurut aku, guys. Karena memang betul-betul memberikan informasi yang sangat uh, menarik. Sehingga menambah wawasan kita agar lebih luas lagi. Oke, okay, sekian dulu video ini. Uh, aku mohon diri. Mohon maaf jika ada kesalahan dan kekurangan. Oke, okay, kalian lihat uh, style aku seperti apa, guys. Tanpa uh, topi ya, guys. ya. Silahkan komen aja di bawah. <laughs> Oke, okay, aku mohon diri. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.